Good morning. 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 Is that the end of yep. it? <laughs> so you managed to memorize it? Yep. What's that? You're in your AP? You're in your AP? No. 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 Is that your favorite thing, would you say? Yeah. I mean, song rather. What's your favorite song then? Bisaya song. Oh, this is a Bisaya, really. The singer is Bisaya. So that's it. Marian singing Magellan. So, question when, was, when did Magellan land to Cebu Island? Yeah, when? In a lesson in the, in the song, it's actually not stated. So, this on I know, March. 1521? 16. No, no, oh, 16 no. That's day. when he went found Limasawa Island, which is. is li what is Limasawa Island? It's an island in the Philippines. Alright, not, not Cebu then? Yeah. Is AP one of your favorite subjects? It's okay. You still understand it even it's Filipino? No, because most of that time they translate. <laughs> that would be hard for children, um, and not children, but for your teachers to teach the language and I mean the, the subject in Filipino and then having to translate it in English. So that means most of your classmates don't understand uh, Filipino then. Well, I didn't understand it sometimes translation. We're driving home, it's... Um, How did you find out that you know your answer is correct? But no, because um, I was still copying, mm -hmm. and then I told so I asked for the translation because I was I couldn't keep up because we had to copy everything. 
Uh huh. So someone um how do you call it? So someone translated it for me, my sleep mate. Because mm -hmm. she could listen and then she said when of it and I was like, Well but my um cl my class my seat mates I was like huh because my seat mate translated it into whatever mm -hmm. and then so I was like he was looking at it intensely intensely and he forgot some words, so he was wrong. Yeah. And then he asked for my Filipino book again, and yay, I got rechecked. So, what's your score? Perfect. Five out of five. Well done. Yeah, I mean, you're not doing so bad with the subjects that are not in English, English you know? Yeah, like Messiah. Your grades are excellent. Yeah. One time I so what's your what subject is it that your grade is P? P. Oh, oh all are A's except one. When? Is it English? Huh? In your report card, ba? Second point there? Mm. You said I got all the A's. No, it's Michael, I think. Is it Michael or you? You uh, said I, I got all the A's. Oh, you got all A's there. I, I, I think it's me. Yeah, Sorry. It's me. It's me. Ah, si Michael got all A's except one subject, which is Mappy, I think. My yeah. Mappy, don't know? Oh, no, yeah. Mm. Well yeah. done. But in the first quarter, I got P in science. Mm. Alright, that's it, really. No! Just a short video. What, you want to say uh, something? <laughs> I'm, I will show you my work. And you know what okay. the lowest scores someone got on a Filipino test? What? Two. Pwede pa ano, pahangin o. Two out of thirteen. Two out of thirteen? No, thirty. Thirty? Yeah. Gosh, yeah. what is that? Um, they got failing school. I don't Lusot know. Lusot kong now, eh? Huh? I don't know if they studied. They probably didn't. Mm. But since I have a good memory, I'm able to keep up. <laughs> Actually, guys, Marian is very ano. Tapulan kay ni mukto-on. She's lazy to study. Pag may mga like formative test sila, ah, summative test. I ask her to study, but ayon niya. Nisha yung studios na tao unlike me before. I still do fine. But she does, yeah, she does okay in school. I mean, she can still, you know, get a high grade. Right. So this was my work, and then in number four, um, if you can see there, it he underlined with he underlined Sinoman, but then the answer correct answer was Tailandman. So there's a circle there, but then he rechecked it. That's why there's a check, and he changed my score to five. And Marian's penmanship now is really, really good. I mean, if you can see her penmanship two years ago, <laughs> that was terrible, you know, the way you write before game. But look, look at this now. It's very nice, the way you, you write now. Better than mine, I would say. <laughs> you got better penmanship than mine. <laughs> Eighteen minus six equals sixteen. Yes, 16. I can show you. I can show you. Is that oh, you answer that? Yes, yeah, so well, I wrote false, but it was apparently wrong. Well, it is false. Oh, but there's something um next to it. Um, ah, right. The y is true. true. That's false. why I just thought it was false, but I couldn't, so I was hesitating. Um. Right. So it said. What is it? So it says 
Oh, damn me, right? It says, the equation 18 minus 6 equals 16, 12 minus 6 equals 6, 6 minus 6 equals 0, can be written as 18 uh. minus 6 equals 3. So then, that means you haven't really um, solved the entire equation, huh? only the first. No, part. that isn't. That's is that true or false? But then, so I was a bit confused why it said that. But I think it was a guy that has and we weren't allowed to talk. All right. Unless we. So uh, that means you were not allowed to ask as well. No, I think. Hang it, Oh. I think we might have been able to ask, but. It's a long video already, so let's end this now. Yeah, it has already been a So, bye. See you later, guapo guapa. Bye. <laughs> Advance. Happy Valentine's Day for tomorrow. Huh? Uh, 35. Uh. Say happy Valentine's Day to them. Happy Valentine's Day. In advance. It might be uploaded today or tomorrow. Bye bye. Happy rainy day. Oh, that's, mommy is very lazy. <laughs>